Hello, my brethren, and welcome. I got a nice surprise when I logged in last time Barrow visited. Not only did Barrow actually have a new weapon, which is pretty damn rare these days, but it's quite good, and I'm sure you've probably heard about it. I was also a little sad knowing that I dissolved about five ribbons for the twin gremlins. My impression playing with the regular ones was very meh. Of course, all the Prisma weapons are better than their regular variants, but some of them are significantly better and considered top tier. And this is a weapon that falls into that latter category. There's a problem with them, but it's due more to the game than the weapon itself, and I'll show that later because I'm sure it's going to crop up. Let's get started with the differences between this and the regular one. The overall damage is lower, but it's more puncture and slash based, and is evenly balanced. Crit chance and crit damage are significantly higher, as is the status chance. And this really comes into play when you consider that the fire rate is over 1.7 times faster, and it has double the magazine capacity. It also has a quicker reload, plus twice the accuracy, you can see where this is heading. Overall, this is just a much better weapon. Alright, first I want to compare it to another twin pistol that we all know and love, the Axtoletto Prime. I'm just going to use a standard corrosive build for this, and we'll just see how it goes, which we know is still going to be pretty good. And of course, going to use some 150 heavy gunners here. As you see, the damage is still pretty good. It's taking down the armor really well with its 100% status. But I'm probably going to run out of ammo before I finish this entire thing, so I'm just going to do half of them. And that's good enough, so I'm just going to move on to the Prism Twin Gremlins. Alright, with these I'm pretty much going to be doing the same thing. The main difference being, of course, taking the Riven off, and I'm putting a Cold Elemental mod on. Now I know Cold isn't as good, but I'm not going to form this thing again. Now let's get our Bullet Soakers out again. Right away you can see it's already doing more damage. And here's that problem I was talking about earlier. Since this is a bolt weapon and it will pin enemies against walls, the game has a hard time deciphering what is actually a wall and not, so it will pin it up against the next enemy and just stay there and be blocking your damage. This isn't so bad when you're testing, but when your missions and this happens, it does become pretty annoying. That's not to say that this isn't annoying as hell either. There you go. Even with the wrong damage type, it still cleans house. Let me remind you that this thing actually has a Disposition 5 for its Riven. The Riven I have, I'm not going to say is that great, but it's going to get the job done. And pretty damn quick. Let's make some more pinheads, shall we? Damn, that really does get annoying. The damage that this thing puts out is noteworthy, to say the least. Let's get full on stupid, shall we? I'm gonna bring out a Mirage. Oh, this one does have quite a bit of power strength, but I'm just going to be using her number three. Oh, 
Oh, it's so retarded. I love it. I love it. Well, I'm normally not one for projectile-based weapons, but this, this just does too much. I, I love it. It's, it's been really good. Well, get this thing whenever you get the chance. I know it may be a while for Barrel to have them again, but someone else may have them to where you can get them from them. But that concludes this. Like and subscribe for more videos, and thank you again. Take care.